Okay, guys. This video is about prolonging the life of cheap uh, LED bulbs. This uh, was bought by a friend of mine. He used it for about half a year, a year, something like that. And it uh, started failing. So, like you see here, I replaced the failing uh, LEDs with uh, standard ones. Four of them in parallel for uh, each original LED. Let me just give you an example of uh, how these LEDs fail. One moment, be careful for some shiny uh, light. Okay, you can see that one in there has failed and here uh, the all, whole row has failed or at least uh, one of them isn't conducting anymore so yeah this one has failed but is still conducting. Uh, I will not be able to, to repair this one because uh, the LEDs would stick out and yeah, it would look really weird and this is a, a very bad bulb. This one has started, uh, started failing in about two months. So it's yeah, really crap. I have lots of them. Let me just try and find if the camera would decide to focus on it. Okay. Yeah, can seem to find one. Okay, there we have one. So this is how it starts. And then the black dot grows bigger and bigger and it eventually completely fails. I have another one here that I used as a donor trying to fix uh, others, but uh, they start failing again, so it's useless. These are complete crap. But this type can uh, be salvaged because uh, yeah they have this over it so if you put uh, this type of standard LEDs uh, in you will not be able to see them so they will not bother you uh, yeah this power supply was not uh, a problem but my friend uh, cut it, uh, cut the protection, the insulation off to see what's inside, so I had to use uh, temperature resistant uh, tape to put it back together. So yeah, it's really hard to unsolder these original ones, because this is aluminum and it will draw away all the heat. And from what I remember, they have a solder point in the middle. Yes, they have. So I just... Uh, pushed them off with a screwdriver, if I remember, you can see the scratch marks. But uh, yeah, that didn't do anything bad. So, yeah. Now I will just have to put it back together. I will stop the video for a moment. Just noticed something else. It sometimes is incredible how little Chinese care for safety. These in the corners are the positive and negative contacts. You can see they are extremely close to the edge and the wires are uh, bonded in place uh, a little bit at an angle and the absolute single thing that's keeping this board uh, in its uh, place is this which is aluminium. So those could get uh, could get uh, short circuited extremely easily. So yeah. <sighs> Jesus, I I have to st stop uh, stop buying cheap Chinese crap and tell tell all my friends to not buy them anymore. It's no. I understand that you make something cheaply and it will not last long, but don't do stupid things like this. Yeah. So, sorry for that, let's continue.
Okay, the light bulb is in. Let me just turn it on. And this is what we are getting now. You can see the small LEDs are all working. And this will be used uh, on a hallway where it will not stay lit for long periods of time so it can't overheat uh, anymore. But I just save it for uh, a few more years probably. So yeah, you can fix cheap Chinese bulbs but they are crap and kind of dangerous. So if you decide to do this, be very, 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 very careful of what you are doing. Now I will just have to put this back and secure it uh, with uh, a little bit of glue so it will not uh, come off again by itself, of course. So. Thanks for watching. Actually, one moment. Not thanks for watching. Not this second anyway. If I could unplug this with one, one hand. Let me just show you how this looks. I've unplugged this lamp so I don't electrocute myself. You almost have no idea of what's inside. So with this type of bulbs you can fix them. With the clear type no way. So this time really thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.